Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima Underworld 2. And when last we left off, it's time to go and, uh, collect some reagents. Specifically one, because we know where one of the reagents that we need for, um, whatever Altara is, um, planning to create is. And that is we know where some spider eggs are. They're on the floor just above us right now. And unfortunately, that means we're going to have to um, anger the otherwise peaceful spiders. I believe if we take those eggs, they will most certainly become hostile. But unfortunately, we have no other choice if we actually want to uh, make the item that Altara is specifically um, requesting that we help her make. You'll also notice there's some uh, black rock there in the floor. That is important because... Um, it sort of implies how much black rock there now is nearby. And indeed, if uh, Nistel's theory is correct in making a sort of shout that will um, disintegrate the um, sort of dome around us, we're going to most certainly want to uh, make that as powerful as we possibly can. I'm not entirely sure if we want necessarily to um, fight these just now, but there are a lot of them. We want one of these, because basically we want to have the ability to remove this poison ready, just in case, because there are about five spiders. There are five. We only need one of these. I'm still worried that they're going to uh, decide not to be friendly. Let's move that in there. Let's grab one. They have not got hostile. No, they're hostile now. All right, let's go. This is uh, regrettable, but we're going to have to uh, fight our way out against five of them. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over here and we're going to make sure they can only come at us one at a time because I don't want to be surrounded by five dread spiders. One at a time is fine enough, but five? No thanks! Because we are going to get poisoned, and this is not mild poison, this is a uh, bad poison. This is really bad poison. That's why we have the leeches ready, for once we've killed all these, we can remove the poison. For now, however, we're going to have to uh, try our best to kill as many of them as quickly as we can. I'm sorry, spiders! I know you were um, nice and friendly, but I need these um, this egg. I only took one. There'll be more spiders. I'm not gonna take any more. I don't need to take any more. Just gotta make sure we're not being surrounded. Okay. Ow. Careful. There's another one dead. There we go. And one more to kill. It's a lot of experience as well, but I'd rather not be killing any of them. And, uh, one more. There we go. Are there any more spiders? Have I killed every single one? I think I might have killed all of them. Also, let's use those leeches before we die. Because we would very much have died if we hadn't used them. Is that a hostile one? Yep, that's a hostile one. It's fortunately trapped. I'm still loath to hit it, just in case we get poisoned again. Hello? Oh, you have a turn to notice me. Okay, so they were all hostile. This one moved over here for some reason and, get, and got trapped here. But that's okay, because uh, you have perished nearly. Just don't hit me. Just don't hit me. There we go! Excellent. That was... Not as tricky as I thought it might be. I'm gonna leave the rest of the eggs there. I'm gonna leave the rest of the eggs there. I only took what I needed. And I'm not gonna take all of them. We only need one. We only need one. Let's do some healing because, ow. Ow, that hurt. Also, let's use a better heal spell. We actually have a better heal spell. This is a better heal spell. Oh, casting was not successful. Any particular reason? Is it because we have no, um... Is it because we have no actual, um... Magic? Not sufficient enough? The incantation failed. You were healed. There we go. 
that's good enough. And let's do some resting. There we go. We're going to need some uh, light because we can't see. But we're not going to need any food. We'll take some anyway, though. A little bit of food won't do us any harm. There we go. Some cheese. Delicious. It did indeed taste delicious. With that, we're just going to now head back into the uh, place we were in before. And uh, go back down into the... Uh, the depths of the uh, the world of the gems. There is another world we need to actually go to, though. There is another world we have access to that we uh, have not yet been to, and we will go there. Not that way, though, because that way will just mean that I uh, basically crash down to the ground. Come on, Mr. Bat. I do not wish to fight thee. I just wish to pass thee. There we go. We're not going to even try and fight the ghosts yet. Ghosts are a little too powerful for us at the moment. Or rather, they might not be, and I just don't want to try. We could use our gem here, but we have another world to uh, go and explore. I believe I did see another illuminated um, area. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use that instead. So we have three different uh, facets. You have that one, this one, and this one. No, we've been to that one. That one's the prison tower. That's the prison tower. What else do we have? There is... None of those are particularly illuminated. There's... Killorn Keep, which you've already been to. Is there anything else? Or is it just those two? Oh no, I see it alternated there. What about this one? This one is cold. This one is very cold from what I can see. That is a white worm. And it's hostile. Oh. Oh, that was a snow covered floor and it just melted. Oh, wow. Did that just jump? Wow, that is a resourceful um, enemy. And we are now level nine. Which is really good, because that means we can now actually cast the Repair Spell. I don't remember what runes the Repair Spell had, but we can now cast it. We can also now cast the Unlock Spell. Actually, I think I do know what spell, what uh, runes they were, because I'd separated them out. Uh, not this bag. This bag? Were they in here? It was those runes. So that, 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 maybe? We'll try it. We'll try it. So if we go that, 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 I think that was the repair spell. Not a spell. Okay, clearly I've got that wrong. Uh, ah, okay. That, that, that. Okay. That's better. That is actually what it is. It uses that one. Okay. I want to see if I can repair these items. So, that, that, and that. There we go, we'll try that. The incantation failed. Ah, we'll use it there. Look at that. The spell repairs the badly worn helmet. What is it now? Excellent. And we're gonna be repairing all of our stuff because that is amazing. We might as well rest and repair everything. Oh, ow. We probably don't have enough magic to cast it now, do we? Nope, probably not. But it's worth doing this. We definitely need some more casting skill. We definitely need some more casting skill. Let's rest again. Okay, we are now hungry. Ow. And we now don't have enough magic. Oh dear. Well, that was uh, not good. Also, there is just more food in here. We can grab as much food as we like. We are stuffed now. Thy feeble wrigglings amuse me. Oh, do they, Guardian? Well, I'm currently repairing all of my equipment right now, so uh, there is... No real danger I have anymore to any of my equipment just being permanently destroyed. The 
There is, however, a danger that this spell will never work. It just keeps failing! Why is my casting not sufficient? I need more casting stat. Yep, I need more casting. We can just keep resting, though. There is, uh, no downside. There we go, that's better. What do we want to repair now? The armor. The armor is now excellent, which is fantastic. What else do we have? Those are badly worn, serviceable, serviceable, worn, and serviceable. So really, we want to, uh, we want to repair the shield and the boots now. We could technically repair everything. It will only take time. So this game is uh, event-driven and not actually, um, the game is event-driven rather than time-driven. So, it's not going to be any detriment um, constantly trying to rest things. I mean, technically we're in another world, so who knows how fast time travels here in comparison to Britannia. Ow. That means we don't have enough magic, doesn't it? Yep. We're also hungry. Did, uh, we don't have any room to create that. Also, we don't need this bone. There's the bone, there we go. Don't need that. Oh, we have... It's cold here now. Is it meant to be cold here? Is it meant to be cold in there? It would seem like it is cold in here now. Also, there's no more root... There's... It's not making anything. Does it only make one thing when you rest? That would make sense, but um, it's cold here now. That is, uh, interesting. An interesting development that I didn't, uh, anticipate or remember. We'll eat this food. It tastes great. Great. And great. We're gonna need to rest more, aren't we? Uh, hello? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Where did you come from? Why is everything trying to attack me? Why am I being ambushed? I mean, we feel rested, and now we've gone back into the gem. Let's go deal with that, shall we? Where are they? There's one. Okay. What about the others? The others are just gone. Oh. All right. So let's just wait for these two to alternate, because, um, you can only enter into one at any time. I didn't know that this place would become, um, colder after you went in. To be fair, it makes sense, in a sort of way. Let's try repair this stuff again, because, uh, we still have two more of these to fix up. That, that, and that. This is probably going to backfire horribly. We really need more casting skill. I think the next time we go to uh, level with Nistel, we just need more casting. Ooh! It worked! Now that is excellent. And lastly, we might as well fix these boots, because these boots are not doing very well. Also, we are hungry. We should rest. We are now going to be far more than hungry. We are famished. We need food. I don't know why we currently used one of those leeches. That was a mistake. This, however, will open to reveal nothing. Oh, it's no longer magical anymore. It's just a box now. Well, looks like I have, uh, exhausted that. Well, that is a pity. Oh, well, it only had so many uses, I suppose. Well, we might as well, uh, Move that up there like that, and, uh... Do we have any other food on our person? Why do I keep using leeches? That's because I keep left-clicking, and it keeps using leeches. There's no more food in there. That is no matter, we're, we're soon not gonna need leeches. I think we can actually remove poison magically now. Yeah, we have the uh, third circle access to remove poison, so... That's not a problem. We're just gonna... We are not yet ready to cast this spell. It's alright, we have literally made a feast. I think the Avatar shall never hunger again. Tasting great, tasting great. I am, by the way, completely forgetting that uh, I could just uh, make, um, I could just fish. I'm too full to eat that right now. 
Good! We have got to the point where we are too full. Now, it's one of these. It's the... Yeah, it's that one. It's that one. This one heads back to the uh, frozen world that we have barely explored, I might add. We have barely explored this place because all we've been doing is repairing stuff. But I'm not even sure that's enough magic. I'm not even sure that's enough magic to actually cast the repair spell. There's only one way to find out, and that's to try casting it. Is that enough? Yes. There we go. Now... We have everything um, done and we should rest some more. Just because we need that magic. Now we're actually able to explore. Now that we've reached that critical point where we can start repairing everything. Now the... Um, oh, we can eat too. There we go. The... Um, yep, that disappeared into the water forever. And we are too full to eat that right now. Now weapons and stuff are no longer a problem because we can always repair what we have. Also, here is a bunch of water, and a bunch of rubbish and loot, because it seems that whatever was here has perished. Also, this appears to be very fragile ground. Yeah, that's an ice-covered floor, as opposed to a snow-covered floor. There's also a trail of blood. And skeletons! Aha! We have found skeletons, who literally attack you with their arms. I suppose if they have nothing else, why not? But they are they die pretty easily. These skeletons certainly do. Which is well that died in one hit and had a backpack. In fact, they all pretty much have backpacks. What is this? It's a ragged scroll. Is it magical? Worms are much tougher than we first thought. The snow cats are less dangerous, although one of them almost got Ripkin when she fell through the ice. Worst of all, of the throwball, of the snowball throwing Yeti, which, which, which what? What do they do? Can I pick this up? What's in it? A rune. A rune I do not have. Put that there for now. What is this? We found we found the entrance to the oh, no hang on we found the entrance of the cave which we believe to contain the lost city of uh, Anadu Anadunos long frozen by our first ice age presently we are searching for a place uh, to camp which is safe from the many hostile ice creatures here there is a bit of a map why do I get the feeling this bit of a map is gonna be important here is a magical scroll. There is a ragged scroll of map area. There is a bedroll. I get the feeling we need this. I get the feeling right now I want to uh, pack away the meat that I have here. Because uh, we need some inventory space. We need this bag, pretty much. A third bag will never go amiss. We could always have loads of backpacks. We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, could, however, use this, and more importantly, we want this runestone. I believe this runestone is a, uh, a whiz runestone. There we go! We have a lot more runestones now. We have over half of them now. What other bags are there? Does this one have anything interesting in it? Not really. So, that goes back there. What about... Oh, that one's too heavy to pick up. And this one is too heavy. So if I were to say drop this one, we can pick up the other ones and see what they have in them. No, it's just way too heavy to pick up. Hmm. What if I were to put down my shield? Is it too heavy to pick up now? No. And that's why it's heavy. It has tons of crossbow bolts in it. And this one is heavy because it has food in it. But we don't need food here, and we don't need those crossbow bolts. So we'll take our shield back. What is this? You see a ragged... You gain a sudden awareness of your surroundings. Oh. And this is a bit of a map? Can we use this? You copy the map scrap to your map. Ah! We speculate that the lost city of uh, Anadunos lies somewhere deeper within this cave. 
On the surface, we noted a river to the east, which may have once served as the city's water supply. The greatest obstacle our expedition is likely to encounter is the abundance of dangerous creatures here. The ice worms and snow cats are much more fierce than their cousins to the south, but the vicious snowball throwing yeti are the most formidable of ice creatures. We have yet to find signs of any intelligent creatures. So that's the cave mouth which we came in. And there's the the campsite for the first night, and we've seen a fair bit of the map now. That is pretty useful. And when we come back, folks, we most certainly will. Uh, we don't need that. Anymore. We most certainly will. Uh, have a look at um, what's going on in this place. It seems to be a long and frozen location, like you clicking on the map there, that uh, has yetis and dangerous worms and those few skeletons there that are now dead. So, I'll catch you next time, folks, for when we come back, more exploration here. And it is rather cold here, but hey, we have a nice selection of equipment now that we can permanently keep repaired. So that's something. And I'll catch you next time. And I'll see you then. Later.